I'm Brian Abel. Here are your headlines from 7 Action News. Starting with 7 First Alert, meteorologist Mike Taylor with a look at our weather. Mike. We're going to be warming up over the next couple of days, but before that kicks off, 27 degrees for your Monday morning, we're going to have some freezing drizzle and even some light snow showers. That could still cause some slick spots first thing in the morning. Outside of that, we'll continue to warm up, a few chances of some rain and some snow, and our next system that we're tracking actually arrives Friday going into Saturday, and that one too could bring some heavy rain and also some snow showers. The FDA is issuing another round of warnings about heartburn and blood pressure drugs. It's because the meds could contain trace amounts of a cancer-causing impurity. It's ranitidine tablets by Denton Pharma and ranitidine hydrochloride capsules by Apco Pharma. Now, the impurity is called NDMA. It's been classified as a probable carcinogen. Ranitidine is the generic form of Zantac, and the FDA urges everyone to check if any of your medications contain NDMA. If so, consult your doctor to safely discontinue use. Right now, police searching for three carjacking suspects on Detroit's east side. It happened on Gratiot near Mount Elliott around 1.30 this morning. Police say the victim was driving southbound on Gratiot when he got into an accident with another vehicle. When the victim pulled over, he told police the three people walked up to him demanding money and the keys to his car. One drove off in the victim's burgundy 2018 Nissan Rogue and the other two suspects left in a silver vehicle. If you have any information about any of this, call Detroit Police. And House Speaker Nancy Pelosi could send both articles of impeachment to the Senate sometime this week. On Tuesday, she will meet with the House Democratic Caucus to discuss impeachment, and then the full House is expected to choose impeachment managers for the trial. On ABC This Week, Pelosi defended her decision to hold off on sending those articles to the Senate, saying the extra time helped raise the profile of needing witnesses and documentation. Well, those are your headlines. Remember, you can always go to WXYZ.com and our app for news anytime. I'm Brian Abel. Have a good day.